So when I came into my studio today, it was all pretty neat. And then I moved in a whole bunch of stuff, which I have been sorting into boxes and sorting the paper I've gotten and taking the boxes that I had and I'm trying to make a little bit more sense of them. And this is my desk. So this is why I'm not doing it any crafting at the moment and this is why I'm um, sitting in my messy studio but I'm hoping to get things cleared away pretty well I've been making pretty good progress here's a painting collaboration that was between my mom and I of my art and her um, painting skills and uh, here's one of my prize possessions this is a painting by Ambery Ritteroff. This is the one that the bug crawled through and I bought. And let's see, here's another painting by me and my mom. And then I have some more paintings that are in progress of my own, but I can't get to them easily, so I'll show you some other time. But, uh, oh, actually there's one I can grab right here. Just a second. This is out into the hallway. My studio is in BJ's Up Bay Ateliers in Vallejo, California, where I live. Let me just uh, show you a little bit more of the chaos that I am sorting. And I've got too many boxes with the same thing separated, and that's what I'm trying to fix. But uh, here's a couple of my paintings in progress that I took a hiatus from because I was doing other things besides painting, but there's one of them that's not quite done. And there's another one I've started. I tend to do certain colors, so that's why I have a bunch of them that are started and not finished. So. This is another one in progress, and I guess I can find the little ones and show you. Um, they are down here. Move my purse. Laurel Birch is one of my major influences, and I just love her. So, this is my carry case when I take my paintings to work on at home or someplace else. But here's the first one. As you can see, I do basically the drawing and then I sort of color in my own uh, coloring book, so to speak. That's one of them. Here's one of my Plasterbot robots. And obviously this is a robot angel. And another little friend down there. So that's those two. And let's see. I love to do octopuses or octopi and here's one. That is started. And here's one that's a winged heart. And I just love to decorate the edges with all different things. So you can see it's it's almost like a box, the I actually started out doing these kind of patterns on boxes. Nobody really wanted to pay anything for the boxes, which is weird because the boxes are actually more work because I would do all of the inside and all of the outside and even the bottom, the underside of the lid. And people wouldn't pay more than about, you know, seven or eight bucks for all that work. And then I started doing these little canvases and, you know, getting 20 or 30 bucks for them. And um, 
A friend of mine just says, people respect the wall. If it's up on the wall, it's art. If it's just sitting on a table, it's not or something, you know, at least for this kind of thing. But uh, I have a couple more. I think maybe one more. Here's another robot one. This one's not on the deep canvas. This one I thought I'd just try to do a little quick robot one and I haven't finished it either. But anyway, that gives you an idea of the sort of thing that I do. I actually can do, sorry about that, I can do um, very more realistic pencil type stuff, but it takes me forever and I found that I was stressing over them so much and wearing through the paper with the erasers and a friend of mine said, just take a Sharpie, you can't erase it, just do it. And I started doodling and I just love it. So that is where I'm at right now. So I do have a whole stack of um, Happy Mail that I need to review, but uh, I'm gonna clear off some space first so that I actually can work. The fun thing about this studio is that it's only like 10 by 10, but it's got this huge ceiling with a little skylight. So it's like, I don't know, 14, 15 feet high. <laughs> so I eventually intend to put a whole lot more pictures up on the walls. But um, this is where I'm at. I got all the comforts of home, little microwave in there. It's my tiny little studio. So I obviously have big ambitions. Uh, <laughs> eventually, I haven't worked on anything that big yet, but they were having a sale of 60% off, and I thought if there's ever any time to get a large canvas now would be the time, so I did. And uh, as you can see, I've really started organizing stuff. Um, but again, I've got whole separate bags with more pens and more glitter and more tools, and I just really need to get it all sorted out. I used to have my sewing machine over here, but I took the sewing machine home. And what's over in the corner is my goal to work on some electronic bits with light up things and gears that work and that sort of thing. And the other thing I like to do is boxes, but I haven't really been doing the wooden boxes lately. So anyway, that's my before studio tour and uh, hopefully um, before too much longer, I will have the after studio tour. So this is Karen signing out. And thank you to everybody who actually watches this. <laughs> I tried to do a live stream earlier and it seems to have started. And supposedly you can do it without an encoder and do it from your phone. But I haven't figured it out yet. So I'm going to have to get... Uh, one of you experts to maybe walk me through it or something. But again, goodbye. Thank you, everybody.